Hi, welcome to today's VBC Daily 3. I'm Chuck Ladabodier, and I'm so thankful that you chose to start your week with us today. Today I get to share with you what God has been saying to me through the Romans 5 verses 6 through 11, through 11 passage. Hopefully you've had a chance to read through it at least three times yourself, uh, pondering the questions, what does it say about God, what does it say about me, and what am I going to do about it? As is my practice, in order to pick up the flow and context of the passage we're doing for our devotion, I actually started reading in verse 1 of chapter 5. And by the way, the caption for in the NIV for chapter 5 is peace and hope. Mm. Paul starts out talking about faith, peace, hope, and love. Leading up to chapter 5, Paul has established that we're justified by our faith, and because of that, we have peace with God. Then in verse 2, he says, we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And in verse 5, he concludes with, because God's love has been poured into our hearts, getting us to the beginning of our passage, which starts with the word for. And the presence of the word for says to me that Paul is about to explain in more detail or give further explanation for the reason we can have hope and peace. And the clue, the key to that is in the last sentence, the last sentence, God's love. That's the key, God's love. I've heard our passage referred to as the John 3.16 of Romans 5. And our, and our yesterday, Pastor Matt did a wonderful job expositing that famous, world-famous passage, John 3.16. If you missed that, I encourage you to check out our live stream archive. It will be well worth your time. For me, today's passage supplements yesterday's sermon by explaining why we can have confidence in the work of the John 3.16 passage. The way Paul explains it, if while we were sinners, enemies of God now, God chose to love us and should display his love to us by sending his son to the cross on our behalf, then he is much more likely to do a whole lot more for us now that we've been reconciled. Do you see that? Wow. What does that say to me about God? It's his work. He loves. He initiates. He gives the faith. He saves. And he will keep us. What does it say about me? I was weak, ungodly, dead in my trespasses and sins, and without hope until God intervened. And without his keeping power, I have no hope, no peace. So how will I respond? I'm going to stay close to him, treasure his love and grace. I want to please him, to do everything I can, to walk in obedience, always being ready to give a reason for the hope I have, Jesus Christ. How will you respond? Would you share with us via email or text message how the Lord is working in you through this passage? We would love and be greatly encouraged to hear your story. And be sure to join us tomorrow as we pray through this passage on tomorrow's VBC Daily 3. Have a great week. May God bless and keep you.